McLaren's entry-level sports series coming to the New York City. Jeremy Clarkson throws a punch. And what's going on with Mercedes AMG Black Series models? Also, Land Rover delays the new Defender and some guy ditches a rented Lamborghini after crashing it. Plus, it's Friends Day Wednesday here on FLD, AK. Finally. Yeah, what's up, everybody? I'm Derek D, and you are watching What Is It, Max? Fastlane Daily. Woo! How'd you know that? Yeah. Good read job. the script, but also it's on the door when you come in. <laughs> All right, listen up. For all you FLD fans who used or would rather use iTunes to watch the show, a lot of you have been emailing us, tweeting us, Facebook messaging us about how the, uh, the feed, the iTunes feed is not working and you're all like, where is it? Well, it was a lot more complicated than you think, but we are back up and running on iTunes. Yes, oh, finally. Nice. Yeah. Yes, but this is important. If you were subscribed previously, it doesn't count anymore. You'll have to resubscribe. So there you go. The link to FLD on iTunes is in the description. Or I'm um, assuming you could just search Fastlane Daily and you will find it. There you go. We're back up. All right. Moving right along. It's pretty cool in today's day and age where you can rent an insane supercar just for a day, you know, because we all know owning these cars takes a whole lot of cash. While even a daily rental can be super expensive, it is uh, access to some awesome technology and performance. But what happens if you crash that super expensive whip? The repair bills are probably going to cost more than most no new cars, and let's be honest, you didn't get the insurance. I guess that's why the renter of this Lamborghini Gallardo just left it on a Dallas highway after crashing. Exotic Skittles, fun name, rented the car out to a return customer who promptly abandoned it after what appeared to be a single car crash. If he's a return customer, the company obviously knows who he is, so he's not going to get away with it. Let's be honest, though. The guy had to be drunk and didn't want to get a DUI charge, so he bailed. And once they catch up with him the next day or whatever, he'll be sober, hence can't prove he was drunk. Yeah, you know, hit and run and all that stuff, but still, you don't have, it's not compounded with a DUI. I guarantee that's what happened. Just saying. Detective D. Detective D. Land Rover was preparing a new Defender SUV for a 2016 launch, but now it looks like the model will be delayed until 2018. No specific reason for the delay, but 2018 does happen to be the 70th, 70th anniversary of the original Defender. So I'm sure that had something to do with it. Now when it does launch, there will be five body styles. Yes, five, including a short and long wheelbase version, and a pickup truck looking version thing. It may look like that. Gas and diesel four cylinders will be the main engines, but the top models will get a three liter V6 with 300 horsepower. In related news, Jeep is working on the Offender for 2018, which will just haul insults at passing defenders. Really taking competition to a new level. Nice. Yeah, it's crazy. Top Gear's current season, of course, the popular BBC, BBC show, has been postponed for at least the next two weeks or even canceled completely. Apparently, after a long day of shooting, there was no catering or food laid out for Jeremy Clarkson. So he got pissed and threw a punch at a Top Gear producer. More should unfold about this in the next few days or so. They are calling it a fracas. A friggin' fracas? <laughs> what the frick was Clarkson doing fracasing? What the frack? I think he was hangry. He was hangry. Good one, AK. Started some fracas. Whole lot of fracas going on. Mercedes has just been pumping out AMG versions of its popular models as well as they should. But we haven't seen a Black Series version since the SLS Black Series that came out two years ago. Well, don't hold your breath because it looks like it's going to be a while before a new Black Series version debuts, but this doesn't mean they are extinct. Nope. The reason for the delay is apparently because, quote, the base cars are already so good, end quote. Huh, just a little humble bragging. But hey, confidence is key, folks. You know? Why is that hideous dude with all those hot chicks? Confidence, my man. Is that why? Oh, yeah. That's from me in the Booty Jam video. <laughs> McLaren's upcoming entry-level sports car, the Sport Series. You want some info about it? Please. 
All right, here you go. First off, the naming scheme will trickle down from other versions, meaning power output number first, then letters, like uh, 650S, for example, or 675LT. Second, there will be two different coupe versions, both starting with the number five. So what do you think that means, Max? Uh, I'm not sure. 500 horsepower. Nice. Yeah, 500 and something horsepower. But we don't know exactly the exact number. Uh, this teaser just shows a uh, camo version of the car dashing through the snow, and that's about it. Thirdly, the entry level C version will be the starter, and an S version will pack more power and better driving dynamics. There will also be a long tail, or LT version, to compete with the Porsche 911 Turbo. Fourth and lastly, the Sports Series will debut next month at the New York Auto Show. And will we be there, Erica? Yep. That's right. We will be there. It is right down the street. Jacob Javits. Ready, Kay? Yeah. He's a good guy. Let's invite some FD fans over to the show for Friends Day Wednesday. Isn't that right, AK? Uh, yes. Absolutely. Come on in. Come on in, guys. Come on Let's in. They coming in? All right, why don't you just open the door and let them all in? Come on in, guy. Yeah, come on One in. One second. One second. Come on in. Oh, good. Oh, glad to have you guys here. Thanks for coming. Oh, wow. Hey, thanks for coming. First off, we got Ben Kotwitz here, yeah, who said he was just uh, trying to get some Taco Bell when he spotted this Cadillac. Or Cadillac, I should say. Yes, that's a Chevy Cavalier with a Cadillac emblem on the trunk. Nice. Fail. Oh. There's never one, like, on the, like, sticking up from the trunk. Fail. 3D. Rich Gutierrez here. Hilarious profile pic, by the way. That's Seal. <laughs> it looks like a Dr. Seuss character. It's great. I stared at that picture all day. He posted this uh, donkey BMW. All right. Swag on, my man. Yes? More people. Oh, another? Oh, so he just left another. Hey, what's going on? FLD fan Nawaf Al Masrahi is here. Nailed it. Saw this Ford Fox. Ford Fox. Come on, man. If you're going to try and pawn your car off as something else, at least spell it right. Yeah, I'm whipping that new Ford, that new Ford Fox. Yeah, it's, it's nude. Yeah, he's got that Ford Falks, dog. All right, next is uh, Brian Lee. Brian, good to have you. Nice cover photo, bro, right? He sent us this pic of a Rolls Royce Phantom going through a car wash. Normal, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Enhance, enhance. That's an M badge on a Rolls. What? Really? Why? You have a Rolls Royce, you put a BMW badge on it? You have a Rolls Royce. Gabe Wilson shared this video of a guy, Gabe, good to have you, uh, rotating on, a, on 30 inch Escalade rims. It's about all they're good for. Hideous. Why would you put 30 inch rims? It's wild. L the littlest, littlest of potholes you hit, bent. Gordon Bush emailed us this pic he snapped of a Mini Cooper with license plate ITLNJB. Translation, Italian job. Like the movie, oh, nice. uh, we get it, clever. Last we have FLD fan Daryl L. Samuel, mysterious guy, who posted this video of a school classroom and this kid just embodying the essence of drifting, but doing it with his school desk. <laughs> Check him out, it's very well done. At the end, he even just, just about parks it. There you go, so Daryl, thanks for that. And uh, hey, thanks all you guys for coming. Yeah, for uh, the door is right there. Uh, Maybe grab some water on the way out or something. Oh. It's all right, guys. We'll take care of it. Thanks for coming. Appreciate it. Ah. Friends Day Wednesday. There you go. And thank you to all our friends. We really do appreciate it, okay? Our FLD question of the day is, if the BBC fires Jeremy Clarkson, would you still watch Erica? Nope. Nope. That's it. Just a nope. Just a nope. All right. Honestly, I doubt. Come on. I doubt he'll be fired, let's be honest. But uh, just for, for, for sake of, uh, you know. Q of the D. The Q of the D, exactly. Let us know. Use a hashtag FLDQ of the D. And what you think of it? And you can send your own in to? Tips at FastLaneDaily.com. Thanks, AK. And uh, hey, that's going to do it for Fast Lane Daily. Today on this hump day, I'm Derek D. And a uh, friend of the show and automotive photographer, Jason Thorgelson, was in a pretty bad car accident. He's OK, but has to undergo some surgery. So uh, just sending out well wishes to Jay. Recover soon, man, yep, all right? Definitely. Awesome. And we will talk to you guys tomorrow. Thursday.
That's Thursday. Yep. Yeah, it's a Thursday, Max. Yeah, Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday. <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Whoa. Hey, for all you FLD fans who use or would rather use iTunes to watch the show, a lot of, a lot of, are you kidding me? Hey. What are you, what are you, you know I'm just, I'm rehearsing right now. You're like throwing the slate right, what are you, what are you, you don't even drive a Ferrari, you're like this Ferrari shirt on. Like, come on, dude, you know that I'm like rehearsing here. Jesus, Derek. What? I, no, they, no, I, no. You guys know I rehearsed it right before, and you're throwing it right in front of me. Like, <laughs> you didn't throw it. What you the hell's the big deal? What are you doing? Oh. Hey, Max, come on, back me up here. I'm rehearsing the show. Derek, you struck Omar. Guys, um, the rest of the bloopers for today have been postponed due to a FLD fracas. Fracas? You'll know when there's a fracas. Ow. We're living in the fast lane, baby.